Welcome to Yucanic. Today here on Yucanic we have a 2011 Cadillac STS and we're going to go over how you would remove the door panel so that you can gain access to all the components that are behind it, the window, window regulator, and so forth. So to remove the door panel, first you need to start with is uh, we need to pop this little cover off and there's a Phillips screwdriver in there and then right in here is where the other two screws for the handle are. So using a uh, flat screwdriver or a pick tool you can be able to pop this cover and remove it and then with a Phillips we can undo that screw. And then you're going to see right here is your handle to pull the door closed but we just need to pull this little cap cover up and then as we pull it up there are two Phillips screws inside here that we need to undo So with those screws undone here, this screw undone here, now we'll take our tool and just be able to get in there, a screwdriver, and you're going to pop all the push pins. These push pins are pretty, um, pretty tough initially, and so you just work your way around. We'll make sure we get all those push pins, and once they're done, then you'll be able to pick the door up. So we're able to prop the door up, pull it away a little bit. We'll need to disconnect the thing, the, the door handle here. And this, you're just gonna pop. This has like a, a clip, so you're gonna push both sides down. We got some needle nose pliers. To be able to press this clip together. Okay. So we got that undone. Now we can pull the whole door panel away from the vehicle and remove it. On this handle we have the, this uh, clip that pushes through and so you needed to push these two tabs together so that it would pull out. And you'll also undo this connector which is just this little uh, T-hook that goes inside here. And then we had one electrical connector this big one right here that connects into this module. Now we'll set this aside to be able to do other stuff. We're going to go over the process of how you would go to remove the glass out of the door so that you can remove the window regulator to be able to work on it. So to start with we have this uh, little panel. This goes up to your mirror to power the mirror and it comes into here. We don't need to disconnect this for for the real moment right now but we will want to take this away from the door so that when we remove this cover it's not all attached here so these just have the push pin and if you take your uh, take some pliers you can push the two tabs and pull it away and we do that on all three of them that's holding this on And then with those three, then we can just let this um, hang out down here and keep that out of the way. And so that's hanging out and laying down there. Now we'll need to go around and pull this um, cover away. It's going to have some stickiness holding it on, but we're going to go in and do our best to, to remove it without messing up the complete stickiness that it will still stick when we put it back. All right, we got that uh, removed and set to the side at the moment. Now, 
We need to undo the two bolts that hold glass in place. Now, the one bolt is right down here, which we can access through here. Otherwise, we would need to raise up the window. Um, and I believe the other one, we can get through the speaker. So we're just going to remove the speaker and be able to also access this one and then that way we can just pull the glass out otherwise you would want to raise it so that it's up here and if you have it up in this realm and over here then you'll just be able to access it without having to undo the speaker we'll just undo the speaker And so with the speaker undone, we have access to this one down here that we can undo. That would be a number 10. And these are the clamp style, so we just need to loosen them a little bit. With those two bolts loosened, you can pull up on the glass and the clamps will loosen up. And now we can remove the glass. You may want to remove this window stripping, uh, weather stripping it's on the inside. Give you uh, some more access. And then you can remove your piece of glass to be able to do some more work. So we have removed the inner door panel. There was a, um, and we removed the glass by also removing this, um, it's like a weather stripping piece over here. And we removed the speaker to gain access to undo this bolt. And then this bolt we were able to reach down through here. Now we are going to take out one bolt here, one bolt here, so we'll need to remove this outer piece that holds the radio um, the speaker in and then because there's a bolt it's get, we're not gonna have enough clearance here then we have a bolt here here and here so it's five total bolts that we remove and then we'll be able to take the whole window regulator component out so we'll start by removing this uh, cover that holds on the speaker or this part of the speaker housing And those are a seven millimeter. And there's three. With those three undone, now you'll just be able to pop that away. And set that aside. It was stuck with the glue that was holding it on, and then there's one clip down there we've got to find. So now we can remove this number 10 bolt and this, and the this bolt here we're just going to loosen a little bit because you see we can just slide it up to get it out. Same with this bolt over here, and we remove this one completely. So with all those removed, now we'll be able to do it. We just um, push it all up, and now we're going to kind of clamp this together. It's just operated by a cable, so we just got to get it, it out. Oh, we also want to undo this electrical connector. 
and that's just by pressing the clamp that way and then being able to pull that completely off. And now, we have removed the whole window regulator assembly for replacement. So here we have the whole window regulator unit with the motor attached. This motor, if you do need to disconnect it or, or undo it, because you want to, you're just going to do the motor. You undo these three bolts right here. But if you've gone to the process of taking this whole unit out, you might as well buy the whole thing. It's generally cheaper to buy it with the motor attached. So you'll take your new one. And when you get done, you want to make sure it's installed with this kind of a cross pattern, the big X in the middle. So we're going to work this side in first. And once you get it in there, you can get it over. And we have that one bolt that you leave in a little bit to hang it, to hang it on over here. And then we'll do the same with folding this in. And then we can put this one bolt to hang and slide down and hold it into place. And then we'll start these bolts and then we'll tighten them all in place. Now these are all of size 10, and there's five bolts completely that hold it all together. That one there, we got this one here, this one down here at the bottom. And then over here, Got these two to tighten up. And put those into place. And now, the last thing before we get too crazy, we want to put our electrical connector back on for the window right there, the window regulator. So we've snapped that all together. And so that's how you install your window regulator. Oh, We're going to go over how you would put your window glass back in, um, being that it was removed to replace the window regulator or anything else you needed to do inside the door. So we take our piece of glass and we've got it like this. Going to go from the outside, put the front edge in first. Be able to drop it down and then we'll get it into the the groove and channel and see we got the back one has gone into the clamp this one hasn't so we need to raise it up move the clamp over and be able to get that to line up and install. And now we'll tighten the two bolts, one over here and one over here. So we're tightening the two number 10 bolts, one on the front side, and that tightens the clamp that holds the window in place. And then we've got this one on the back side. All right. So with those tight, now we can go ahead and put the speaker housing back on since we took that off to be able to gain access to that bolt. These are our three number seven bolts.
And then once we got the speaker housing on, then we can put the speaker on. And you're gonna line it up. We've got a tab here that will line up right there. Make sure the speaker's on in the right direction. Okay, those are all good and snug. We'll, we'll connect that electrical connector. Snap that into place. And then, last thing, we're gonna put the uh, panel in there. We're gonna wanna make sure that that's clipped into there from the wire for the door, inside door handle through the hole there. Line this up the best you can to where it previously was. And then just work your way around, pressing the glue that holds it into place. And then while we're at it, we'll take this unit here, get it up into place, and you just snap that on to those clips and press it into place. Run this cable right down through there and situate it like that. And so that's how you put your, uh, your window on and all the components that hold it in. Now, when we put this back on, this is a uh, not unique, but you're gonna see You've got this is your electrical connector and we have around the side we have two very long plastic pins. And these plastic pins we're going to line up in the hole on both sides and then once that's lined up that electrical connector is right there. We'll be able to line up right here with this white connector and when you press it in it it all tightens and, and connects. Sometimes this will come free and then you've released it uh, manually, but it just should press right in there. Now, number one, we're gonna wanna make sure that we hook this up so that we can use our, our lever. And that you just gotta t put in and then twist it. And then you just press the, the clip in there. And now we're gonna line up first you want to put the top edge into the weather stripping. Yeah. Just like that. And we make sure that that pin is lined up. Uh, one of the pins wasn't lining up over here. Now it's all lined up and as we press all the way around snap all those pins into place and as we do that if it's all lined up properly our electric should be lined up. Okay so I'm just testing the, uh, the plug here and we can see that the electric is connected otherwise we wouldn't be able to unlock or lock our car. So that's all, we're all good there. Now we can put the uh, sh small screw that goes in here and there's two screws that go right in here. So this top one is just a, uh, a Phillips number two. This little plastic cover that you're gonna put in and you line it up and snap that into place and then Two big long Phillips number three core screws that are going to go right in there. And once you've put these two screws in and tightened it, then you can just push this. There's a little flap that you'll push down and it'll cover those up. And so that's how you would reinstall your inner door panel on your 2011 Cadillac STS. Thanks for watching Mechanic.